How you doing guys? I hope you're well. Um, on the menu today, fancy doing a New York strip uh, with a celery root uh, puree. Ugly vegetable, but it's absolutely beautiful. Uh, some roasted carrots, very, very simple. Um, I thought I'd do an autumn dish. It's getting a bit colder now, uh, but uh, yeah, um, looking forward to it. If you've never worked with celery root, it's a bit like a potato. It works like a potato, so don't be afraid of it. You can mash it. Um, it makes a really good mash. Uh, you can roast it, uh, you can deep fry it, so give it a go. Now, for my favorite Facebook food picture, it comes from Nguyen Samira. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Um, I love the plating of it, it looks very, very clean. The salmon looks very nice. I love that sauce, it looks very nice and sheeny. Um, I think that's spinach underneath there. I like the rice. Um, it's plated very nice, it looks very, very clean, and it stood out for me, so um, I picked that one, fantastic. So sit back and relax, first autumn dish. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks guys. First, roast the carrots. Add olive oil. A good pinch of salt. rosemary and garlic. Now place in the oven and cook. To make the celery root puree, peel, slice into rounds and dice. Followed by sliced garlic. Add olive oil to a pan. Add garlic. Celery root. And a good pinch of salt. Stir and cook for five minutes. Add milk. Bring to a boil. Then simmer and cook until tender. Strain, transfer to a blender, blitz and add milk. Season to taste with salt and white pepper and blitz again. Next, press the puree through a fine sieve into the pan and keep warm. To make the gremolata, chop rosemary, add to a plate, followed by minced garlic, finely diced jalapeno, extra virgin olive oil, red wine vinegar, Stir well. At the end, add lemon juice to taste, followed by salt and pepper. Stir well and put to one side. Next, season steak well on both sides with salt and a drizzle of olive oil. Now place in a hot pan and cook to your liking. When cooked, transfer the steak to the gremolata for extra flavor. Now rest for about eight minutes. So there you have it. That's my first autumn meal of the year, packed full of flavor and so delicious. Thanks guys.